Well, I am so excited to speak with you today. I have to say I'm a huge fan of Turner and Hooch, the original movie. And so I was so excited to get a preview of the first few episodes of the new TV series. And I wanted to talk to you about and hear from you how it feels to expand such a beloved story that everyone has fallen in love with and expand it into much greater depth. Yeah, I mean, I think we all felt the pressure of, you know, this amazing property uh, that's Turner and Hooch. And, you know, as you said, it's there's not one person that hasn't watched the movie that, you know, doesn't love it, right? And so we definitely felt the weight on our shoulders to make sure that we do it justice and, you know, do it do it proud. Right. So, and I think we, I think we did. I mean, the, the coolest thing is that we still keep the property. I think we keep the, the, all the amazing properties uh, that exist in the original movie, but then turn it into a series and kind of elongate it and like pull those and stretch them out with like a through line too. So, and, and all the characters that were in the original, um, you know, are, are elements of our show. Um, and we even have Reginald who, um, is 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 in our show who was in the original and you know he he brought you he he's just like a ball of just lovely energy and love like he's just an amazing person and he brought all of that with him and i mean he showed us pictures of like the the original uh cast photos and so, you know so it was it was really cool it, you kind of felt like oh my god we're we're really part of this yeah, that's that's amazing. I loved uh, to to hear that and and hear how you kind of all connected. Um, how was it like building that type of camaraderie on set? Because you had to work with, I read that you had to work with five different dogs, uh, uh, French mastiffs, and so you know, Hooch is is that lovable character uh, that we all fall in love with. And so, how was that like working with uh, animals on set? Cara, do you want to? Uh... Yeah, sure. I, was, I, didn't, I, I thought Brandon was going to say something, so I didn't want to talk all of it. But yeah, um, it was so much fun. It was great. I um, This was my first time working or filming anything with animals, so I was a little nervous at first. I also didn't own a dog, or I, I don't have a dog, so I was like, how's that going to be? But they are so sweet. Um, each, each dog has a different vibe and a different personality. So I did have time to, they set up like a dog training slash bonding time for me to get to meet each dog. Um, and I loved it. They were, um, each one has its own personality and you kind of learn that this one is good at this thing and this one is good at this. And, um, but these dogs do what they want to do. <laughs> so um, you kind of have to really make sure you know your lines and roll with it and stay on your toes. So it was just, I mean, you asked about um, just the rest of the cast. I think Josh Peck, who is our lead, Scott Turner, he's just so funny and so hilarious. So even when the dog would do something and it'd be like, oh, we we're supposed to walk this way. Now we're going this way. Okay. Um, Josh was so great. And he thinks he just comes up with the funniest stuff, like at the drop of a dime. And so it was really hard to keep a straight face a lot of uh, many days at work. Uh, what do you think um, makes the TV series different from the movie, um, the original movie? And what do you want fans to take away from this new continuation of such a beloved story? I, mean, I don't know how different it is. I mean, I don't think because the movie is so great. Like, I don't know if we wanted to make it that different. We wanted to keep a lot of the same elements that made the movie so great. I think. I think our show, there's a, you know, there's a, there's a, like a big action element that I think is really, yeah. really cool. Um, you know, there's sort of like a U.S. Marshal force. That's really cool that I think maybe differs from, uh, from the movie uh, in a little bit. Um, and there's also like a, like a through line mystery that, uh, that starts from the beginning and, and, and it, it, it exists uh, through the entire season. So, um, you know, every every episode is kind of a contained episode, but there's also like a little nugget um, that keeps you uh, wanting to watch the next one to ultimately solve the sort of like the great mystery at the uh, the end of the finale. Yeah, what I loved, what hooked me in the first episode was that just that larger action part of it, that yeah. it wasn't just small town detective, right? Yeah. It was, you have U.S. Marshals making a big statement. You have lots of action you have this you know don't want to uh, spoil it but you have this really big car chase and you yeah. have all this this yeah. element of anticipation and 
so what was what was that moment like when you got when you first read the script and you were like I I want to do this what was that moment like when, when I thought the script was um from the very first read I, I was able to read the script before I even got the part just when I was auditioning and I was I can just tell when when it's good and when it clicks. And I thought it was, I, everything that you just said, I thought the, the, the writing was smart, the humor, I love the sarcasm that my character had. I loved that it was still a mystery. And I genuinely wanted to know like, what's gonna happen at the end of this? And, you know, I, I, I thought, I knew it was, on, it was really something special. And um, I think that exactly the magic that was in the script. I was really excited when I got to see the first episode and the first couple episodes because that definitely translated to the screen. So I think it's something that everyone will really, really love. Yeah, when you look at um, when you look at the script and then you go, okay, like I've worked with Matt Nix before on Burn Notice. So you've got like Matt Nix who's done things like Burn Notice and then you mm-hmm. can combine him with Mick G, you know, Charlie's Angels. You're like, oh my God, like <laughs> I get it now, right? It's going to be like, it's going to be fun, high octane kind of, you know, like you just know what it's going to be. So, so, so you just can't go wrong with, with that mix. What I love uh, that drew me to the first few episodes is that it not only has that high, uh, high octane, you know, action, but you also have the heart and you have more of the family backstory and you hear about Scott Turner Jr. And you feel that connection. And so I felt a deeper connection to the, the movie now that I saw this right. continuation of these uh, of the TV series. And so how do you feel like fans are going to react when they first see this TV series? Because it has so much heart. Well, I hope it brings back a lot of fond memories of, of you know, uh, what the original was. Um, you know, there's like that feel good element. Also, I think what's really cool about our show is that every episode pays homage to like a late 80s, early 90s action movie. Uh, for instance, like the sep- second episode uh, is sort of like an homage to Die Hard. Um, it so is. <laughs> and they're really going to be like, oh, this is really cool. You know what I mean? And, and this just adds another layer to the storytelling and um, and another reason to, to why I think people are going to stay interested in the show. Definitely. Well, it was such a pleasure to watch. I can't wait to watch the rest of season one. Thank you all so much Thank for you. letting me chat with you. Thanks. Thank you.